this is Angel from Stewberries, and today I'm gonna teach you how to make these epoxy resin photo box magnets. First thing you're gonna need is a stir stick to stir up your two part epoxy, a cup to measure your epoxy out, a razor blade to shave the end of the epoxy, a resin mold in the desired shape. I got these from Hobby Lobby and some magnets. You'll also need two-part epoxy, which I'm using Pro Marine epoxy from Amazon, and you'll need some photos. These were wallet size photos that I got printed at Walgreens. I'll put a link for the epoxy and the magnets in the description box. So here you can see I'm using a color pencil and the paper that came inside the mold as a template to trace out where I would like for my photo to be cut. I'm gonna repeat this with both photos and sometimes you have to rotate the template to get the best angle of the photo. I repeated this process with both sizes of templates so I can decide which photo I wanted to use in my molds. After I've traced all of my templates, I'm gonna go ahead and begin to cut out the photos so they can fit inside the molds. I followed the trace lines very closely and then I tested them into the mold and then trimmed if needed to make sure that they sat in the mold with a tiny bit of space in between the sides. You want the photo to sit flat inside the mold. You do not want the sides of the picture to be stuck at all. Perfect. Now we're ready to start mixing together our epoxy. This epoxy that I'm using is a two-part epoxy, so I'm using equal parts of A and B, and I am mixing together about a half an ounce of each epoxy here. The amount of epoxy that you need will vary depending on the size of your molds. All right, you wanna go ahead and let your epoxy rest for five minutes. It just helps the bubbles to settle. While you're doing that, I'm taking the magnets and I'm setting them on the bottom of the silicone mode. The silicone causes the magnet to stick to the back so you don't have to worry about affixing it down with anything. It'll stay in place as long as your mold is a little bit tacky. Here I'm filling the mold up about halfway with epoxy, just enough to cover the magnet and to fill it up about halfway so that the picture can rest off of the bottom. I'm hitting it with the heat gun just to dissolve some of those bubbles before I place the photos. pushing the photo down with my tweezer to make sure the back makes contact with the epoxy. I'm using the remaining epoxy to fill my molds up all the way to the top. I know this looks like a ton of bubbles, but don't worry, everything is going to be okay. Here I'm using my heat gun to dissolve some of the bubbles. You wanna make sure that you don't get the heat gun too close to the molds because you can end up blowing some of the epoxy right on out because it's filled right up to the top. There my picture just slid up a little bit that was popping out of the mold so I just used my tweezers to push it down a little bit. Getting in with the heat gun a little bit more. Here it is the next day and you can already see the change in the bubbles. The back is very smooth and there's a little bit of edge on the side of the mold that I'm gonna use the razor to just go ahead and scrape off that little lip. You don't want to gouge into the epoxy so you wanna use a light touch here and just scrape that edge off. You also could um, use the bubble method and just place another layer of epoxy to fill it up and that would go ahead and create kind of a bubble 
over your picture, but I didn't think it was really necessary. Once you turn these edges off, this magnet is ready to go. I didn't even really need to trim the second one. They were just perfect. And there you go our epoxy resin box photo magnets. If you make some, please share down in the comments below and like and subscribe.